My name is Debbie and um, I'm currently staying in Forest Row. Um, I am originally from Balcombe and so are my family. Um, I'm here because I feel like I have no other option for me and my children but to demonstrate. This is my first demonstration um, but I believe this is a good cause and we've run out of any other routes that we can take on this matter of fracking. I believe that this wouldn't go through, seeing as it's quite a conservative hotbed here of people and... Um, why, tell people why they're beeping. Oh, they're beeping because um, they're supporting us, so everybody that passes beeps for, their, for our support. Um, yeah, so I decided that I had to come down because after um, campaigning and um, initial... Um, letters written to local councils and various members of the community we had no joy um, we felt like we had no other option but to come and show our physical presence in a peaceful manner <laughs> I bring my two children and I've never demonstrated before but um, and I was very worried about coming down here so I came down first originally with a friend um, so that I felt safe and comfortable um, and I was only going to come for half an hour but I've actually ended up coming back for five days now because it's so very peaceful and the children are having a lovely time and We've met other families from Forest Road here and it's great to have the support. I've been here now um, daily for five days and um, my children, I feel it's quite safe and they're having a nice time and we're doing a, a great thing being here. Yeah. Is it, have you been to Balkan before? No, it's the first time I've come down here. And why are you here? Because I'm extremely concerned about what is going on here in this field and the potential for further um, desolation of this landscape um, with chemicals. I just cannot see how injecting a, a cocktail of carcinogenic chemicals into the earth can be anything but pure kind of suicide and ecocide and I do not agree with it on any basis. And what's your profession? Are you a professional campaigner? No, not at all. I live in um, Forest Road and um, <laughs> I have heard about this and I... I want, um, I want renewable energy, I don't want um, this extreme fossil fuel extraction, I've read about it, I've read up about it, I've commented on the EA um, Environmental Agency website, and I've now started to see the vested interests that are behind this industry, including Lord Brown, who is um, uh, head of Cordrilla and is on the government lobby. And so I'm starting to think, hang on a minute, who is this for? Who is, um, whose interest is this? Is it really for energy? And I um, have suspicions that it is more than that. And it's about corporate um, investors. They were just full of generalisations, full of unspecific, unquantified um, statements and rhetoric. And I made my point and I went through everything they said in their statements and I commented on them. And um, the Environment Agency just gave me a very, very generalised reply saying that they were satisfied. And having heard that they allowed 90 times more toxic waste. Uh, radioactive waste actually to be dumped into the Manchester Ship Canal, I then start to think, hang on a minute, even the environment agency can't be trusted to, to do what they're supposed to be doing, which is protecting our environment. You're a businessman and uh, a local professional person. What do you say 
two people who perhaps uh, voted Conservative and, and Liberal, in fact, in the last elections. What, were they, what are they starting to be thinking and feeling at this point, people who've started to realise what's going on here? Well, I think they'll really start to consider where they'll put their votes um, next time. And I think they'll start to think, did they actually vote for this industry in the home counties? Okay, this is Sussex. We're 30 miles out of London. We're, this, this is the first step to industrialising this landscape. Um, it's serious stuff. So I think that, yeah, we need to start thinking about the voters, what they are thinking. There are lots of people here from Balkans who are supporting this, and I know that 82% support it. And this is like a conservative heartland. So I think this is going to be serious that people are starting to wake up and think, hang on a minute, I didn't um, vote for this. And do you think also people will be affected by the uh, those who've got involved in the public consultation, which they we I don't think we've had any real response to yet, have we? Well, no, I haven't. I've just had a very general report, and I heard that there were over 900 um, detailed responses, plus a questionnaire, um, uh, I mean a petition that was submitted with uh, over 5,000 um, responses. So I think there is um, some something driving this that is not just about um, uh, politics, I think, oh, uh, not just about energy, there's something else driving this which uh, I smell a rat and I think a lot of people are smelling the rat and I think we need to get out here on whatever front and um, say no and just be here, stand here, join the crowd, mill around and show that we don't want this here in do you, Sussex. Do you think this is else. part of a, a democratic process that's happening here? Yeah, this feels really democratic. People are voting with their feet. This is like a vote. This is a vote. This is democracy. We're saying, no, we don't want it here. I don't want it here. So I'm coming here to show my support. My background, my profile is that um, I was educated at Hurstbeer Point College. Um, I sent one of my sons to Hurstbeer Point College. I sent two more to another private school. Um, I have a very pleasant four-bedroom detached house in Hurstbeer Point Village, which I cherish very much. When I have voted, and I haven't always done so, I voted Conservative because I've been brought up to believe that Conservatives are broad in their outlook on life and can be trusted with really important decisions for the country. Until today. Today, I'm absolutely furious with the uh, flagrant uh, disregard that this government has shown by allowing a corporation to invade the village of Balkan against the wishes of 82% of its population and then occupy it. I've been disillusioned and I'm here because I have no alternative but to express my utter disgust and solidarity with the people of this village. Um, and I'm saying this to anyone else that lives in Western Road, Hurstbeer Point, Sussex, or any other part of Hurstbeer Point, or any part of the Hussex, Ditchling, and uh, Kima chain of villages. Um, don't listen to what you're told. It's not true. This government's got its own agenda. They're in pockets of the corporations. It's not a conspiracy. It's blatantly obvious now what's happening. This is just the first. It's by no means the last. And um, I'm certainly um, here for as long as it takes for the message to get out that uh, we're at the beginning of something very serious that I reckon threatens democracy. Strapping um, can cause cancers and um, other serious implications in um, contaminating water, which is the main problem with it, and also um, pollute the air, which they create Un, once these chemicals are released, released into the atmosphere, they're unbiodegradable, and um, which have huge implications on our health as human beings, and on our animals, and on our um, environment. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> And I want people to know what's going on. There are chemicals going into the earth, which will be there forever. The Environment Agency have told me that they know there will be chemicals left in the wells. The well casings crack, which is the industry's reports tell us that the well casings crack in over half the cases. Um, and that we get airborne pollutants, which are carcinogenic, because they burn off the gas that they find with flares. So 
and women an area of outstanding natural beauty, we, this landscape should not be industrialised. So there are so many points of argument. I want people to know that and that they can get behind this on whatever level they want, whether it's about the landscape, whether it's about the social cost to uh, house prices, to the countryside, to tourism, to communities, to the policing of events like this, whether it's the health cost, whether it's the environmental cost to leave chemicals in the earth that are going to leach out into groundwater and cause illness. It does and cause, um, you know, um, ecosystems to um, collapse and habitats to be devastated. I just, there is no way I can see any sense behind it, even for the small amount of gas that will be extracted, which is minimal. It's been shown it's not actually a huge amount they can get out. So that's why it's extreme energy extraction. <laughs> Once I got from my um, letters to the EA, to the Department of um, Energy, to Michael Fallon, to George Osborne, has not really, I, they've not heard my arguments and I know that there is something else driving this and um, that's why I'm here now because I think that this, we need, and I've written to my MP and I've had the same platitudes back. It's just not good enough. It's just like everybody's turning a blind eye. Well, the politicians are turning a blind eye to this and um, just hoping that it's going to be okay. And they know the dangers and the risks, I hope. Get on down here, Hurst. If you love your views of Sussex, if you like to stand on Worcesterbury on a Sunday afternoon or late evening in the autumn as the sun sets, just imagine the same view with a 35-foot flare. Just nestling next to Balkan Viaduct. Or imagine you're coming home from work at the end of a day's work in the autumn as you go over the flyover. Golly, is that Blackpool Illuminations? No, it's Balkan. And that's just what you can see. Never mind what you can smell, never mind if they frack, what will happen to the water, which incidentally runs into Wadenlai Reservoir. Yes, we drink it. Yes, has to be a point we drink it. And yes, this is an area of extreme water shortage. Water finds water, polluted water finds fresh water. It doesn't take a great degree of knowledge and understanding. I don't have it, I just know this is bonkers. This is the first one of its kind, and if we do our job well, maybe we can hold them back. Fracking is bad and it will affect the whole country and we don't want it to happen.